MetroCount, the traffic data specialists. Hi, I'm Vern Bastian, General Manager of MetroCount, and in this short video, we'll be explaining how to check battery performance with your MetroCount logger. So, we're able to talk to this logger, and I can demonstrate that now. I've got the software running. Uh, let's go view setup look to display the logger operating buttons. Now, we can talk to this logger. What we want to do is have a look at RSU status. It's connected to the logger, identified the serial number. Uh, we, we, we want to check its status before we take it out into the field and do some surveys. So we have the data tab, RSU tab, there's the serial number again, but battery, this is what we want to look at today. Now, notice there are two battery indicators. On the left, we have the main battery, and on the right, we have the RAM backup battery. Let's explain a little bit about those things. Both of these are obviously healthy in the green zone, as we can see, um, but we need to point out some of the things that you may observe. Well, firstly, what is the main battery? The main battery is the 4D cell alkaline battery pack that's available through the MetroCount online shop. So that's the main battery. That's the one that you access by removing the lid, swapping in and out. Okay, so what's the RAM backup battery? The RAM backup battery is this small NICAD battery uh, which is soldered and physically attached to the circuit board. The RAM battery provides backup of data should you change the battery out or if you leave your loggers on the shelf while you go off and leave, the RAM battery will maintain the logger's memory and its personality, remembering the things like the signature and things like that. So those are the two battery components. Now obviously your uh, main battery should remain in the green zone and it's pointing out number of days remaining, 294 days. It's a brand new battery in this logger, 99% uh, capacity. Now that doesn't decay linearly, just bear that in mind. And these numbers are based at 25 degrees Celsius, okay? Get a little bit lower battery performance at lower temperatures, be mindful of that. Okay, so the RAM backup battery, the little one on the circuit board here, this RAM battery receives its charge and is continuously topped up from the main battery whenever the main battery is in here and connected. Okay, so as we say, the RAM battery is a NICAD battery and it should pretty much always remain in the green zone. However, if uh, you've not done surveys for some considerable time, the logger has been asleep, you may come to this logger and find that the RAM battery has dropped down uh, into the yellow zone. Putting a new battery in there will charge it up and you'd expect it to come up pretty quickly, like within an hour or two back into the green zone. Okay, problems that can occur. NICAD batteries, some of our loggers, some of our clients have been operating their Metro Count loggers for many years, 10, 15 years in some cases. Uh, the RAM battery will lose its performance over time. We do need to be mindful of that. Like a cell phone battery, um, NICAD batteries over time do degrade their performance. Okay, so if you've plugged in a brand new main battery and your RAM battery is not coming back into the green, chances are it might need some servicing. Or if the RAM battery quickly charges to the top of the scale, that could also indicate another fault so that it's overcharging and its battery performance will degrade very quickly. So there's a few things to watch for. Just to recap, RSU status, checking the battery tab, we're looking for the, both the main and the RAM battery being in the green zone. If you're experiencing any problems with that, contact MetroCount.